That's why I'm like, I'm famous. I'm famous. I'm waiting for the rest of the world to catch you on. Like, I'm the hype now. Nah, Y'all ain't gotta hype me. I'm that bitch. Give a fuck who don't like me. These are the specs on this wig. This is how much I paid at the time. It's 22 inches, 180 density, 5x5 five five pre plugged, and the store name is Ali Bonnie. Let's open it up. You are the beautiful girl. <laughs> Inside of it, it does come with a wig cap. Some 3D lashes, but y'all know I won't be wearing these because I have my own lashes. And this is the wig. This is how the wig looks straight out the bag. Has a good luster to it. It doesn't look too dry. My goal right now is to try and install a wig without having to bleach the knots because I know everybody doesn't like having to bleach their knots. And I'm not going to lie. I'm like, look at these knots on my hand. I might not even have to bleach it anyway. A little bit of fucking contour powder and this should look just like my skin tone. Concealer, contour powder, any powder. I'm going with these two just to cover the lace since this video. I'm not going to be bleaching the knots. This will be for my girlies who just want to have a quick install, like literally throw it on your head, cut the lace, style it, and go. Because I always do the same thing, bleaching the knots, rah, rah, rah. But these knots are so tiny, like you could barely even see them. Oh, it's giving bald spot. <laughs> it's giving bald spot. Pre-plucked? At least that's less work for me. Did they say this was 180 density? Cause let me just see. Cause you know, I hate when a company lie. Like, come on girl. We know that when that wig is thin as hell. I'm gonna have to go and look at the specs on the back again to see if it was 180 or not. But, does this look like 180 density? No, it doesn't. It's giving a bundle and a half when I hold it up. But let's just clip this back and begin the install process because honestly, I'm not even about to complain. Because I got like 10 wigs in there and I haven't done a wig review in mad long. So I'm like, fuck it. Let me just do my hair. I honestly haven't changed my hair or like styled a new wig since I went to Houston. This is the wax stick that I'm using from my sister's line. House of Slay, make sure y'all don't cough up. But yeah, that's just so I can comb these hairs back and they're not in the way. But it's definitely pre-plucked, so you shouldn't have to go in and pluck it no more. Especially if you want to get some wear out of your wig. Don't even bother plucking it, because, girl, you pluck this shit anymore, it won't be on, no hair on the lace. Did I lie? Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? And I haven't posted in a little while, because, honestly... I had to go to the dermatologist to see what was going on with my skin. Like, I am breaking out randomly. And y'all know I'm, I'm known for having the good skin. So whenever I'm breaking out or anything, it's just... It's detrimental to my health more than anything. Because, yeah, it's not life or death. But, I don't know. I'm not a girl that could just take something like that lightly. I got bigger fish to fry than to worry about bumps on my face. Like, you know. Y'all already know the famous duo. Put that on there. And then I'm gonna just slide this down. I'm not gonna lie, this wig is definitely big head friendly. It's like shifting around on my head and shit. Like, but I'm gonna put this band on my head for 10 minutes. And then I'll come back when I'm styling it. And off. Uh, And the size of this wig 
It's kind of throwing me off. I guess it's good. I guess it's. It is what it is. I'm gonna let this dry before I start styling my baby hair. Trust the process. Whenever you feel like you're done hot combing the top of your head, just do it 10 more times just in case because you're never done. There's no such thing as too flat. I just hate a bumpy wig. So I wasn't going to do baby hairs, but because this wig is just so damn big, I'm just like, fuck it. I'm going to just do two little swoops on the corners. It's been a minute since I did like some dramatic ass baby hairs. But since this is supposed to be like an easy wig tutorial, not even a wig tutorial, but like an easy wig I'm doing, I'm not even going to bother. I'm waiting for this to heat up so I can cut this and curl them. Take a brief intermission. Let's get in a phone call. Can't miss those. moving around I'm like let me just go live while I'm doing this too because I haven't been on YouTube live in a minute just doing anything y'all but it's gonna be weird because I'm talking to this and I'm talking to that it's throwing me off a little bit in the mornings hey like I'm gonna drop out now nah, I definitely did only finished two years of college because I just feel like the girls is paying for school but nobody's doing what they're paying to go to school for so I'm gonna save my coin oh that's good for you baby and I'm gonna be an influencer the way I want to be okay it's just too skimp too skimp they capping. Boy said 180 density. I don't think so. I, I can't even do a white girl ponytail with this. Boy, if you don't. It's giving a rat tail. My thing is, I'm famous. I'm waiting for the rest of the world to catch on. I'm waiting for y'all to realize I'm famous. Like, I'm famous. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm recording a video too. This is how the hair looks. The laser is giving scalp, but the hair is just skimp. Like this. This is actually kind of scary. That's why I'm like, I'm famous. I'm famous. I'm waiting for the rest of the world to catch one. Like. So this is what the wig looks like. Uh, 90, 97% straight. Sorry y'all, I'm trying to end this video so I could, I'm still on live. So I could post this hair video. It's straight. It's straight, it's silky, the lace is bomb, the wig is just thin. Thin as shit. I'm about to put some makeup in my car. So I just got off live and I finished fixing my hair up. So I'm like, let me just come back and show y'all since it's absolutely perfect right now. Not a drop of bleach used. I actually just used some of my LA Girl Pro Concealer to um, conceal the part and just make it a tad bit more defined. I need to go in with a little black because the bald spot that I was telling y'all about before I even started styling the hair it's starting to look more like a bull spot to me so let's just get into this hair real quick because i don't know if while i was on live i really got into the hair so yeah before i even go outside before i forget to do this before i because we haven't done a hair video in a minute let me just tell y'all about it 
I believe the specs is 180 on this wig. So if I go back to the specs and look and it's supposed to be 180, I'm going to really be mad. But y'all already know I'm going to include it on the screen so that you guys can see. But this wig is definitely not 180 density. Like The lace is a 10 out of 10. The softness, like the hair itself on the wig is a 10 out of 10. But the thickness of the wig. Let's just talk about it. This is not all the hair, but it's given they put... A bundle and a half in this wig. I think I paid. How much did I pay for this wig? Let me just go back and get it right now before I even get to lying. Like, this is supposed to be a 22 inch, 180 density wig. That's five by five. Okay, the lace is definitely five by five. It's five by five in, but 180 density baby this is not even 150 density like if you guys was on my live on youtube then y'all know i was ranting about this hair the whole entire time the only thing i really needed to do was just flat iron the top some more and put some concealer on it so that it could look more like neat and i just did that so i'm feeling it more now but this is not 180 density like i literally took the wig out the bag and put it on my head i didn't put a drop of bleach in it this is a wig for my girls who just want to throw on a wig and have to go they don't want to have to do the bleaching and the customizing because it was pre-plucked as well so i didn't pluck it not one bit i literally just put some powder on it threw the wig on my head and then i put some concealer through the part after i ran my hot comb through the top so this wig is a one night only one night only type of wig because i just if you're the type of girl who likes more of a natural look then this would be perfect for you i don't mind wigs that look natural but in my personal opinion if i'm gonna wear a straight wig i just feel like it needs to be thicker than me like thicker than a bowl of grits the wig just needs to be thick so i don't know she's giving very much natural i can't really complain about it as if the wig is just that bad because it's really not but y'all know me i love me some thick hair so that's really the only thing throwing me off but what i'm gonna start having to do is just get me a bundle from these vendors what as soon as i get the wig so that i could just sew it into the wig off rip i'll do the initial review and show y'all how the density comes but from here on out just know i'm more than likely gonna be sewing an additional bundle into these wigs because yeah but the parting it goes all the way back to here so you definitely got some part in space like like i said the lace is a 10 out of 10 on this wig and the hair is super super buttery i'm not gonna lie it barely shed like the only time it did give me some hairs is when i had to cut the lace because the lace did come down pretty far which you guys will see when i'm styling the wig but yeah outside of that i don't have any complaints i just really wish this wig was way thicker than what it is because this is unacceptable really <laughs> like this is giving 130 density i know it was only 75 dollars but the false advertisement is just that that's what be really frying me up with these bitches like stop lying but yeah outside of that if y'all need an emergency wig or if you just want something that's super super natural or you're not too big on the the density like me this is your go-to wig because i didn't have to do nothing to it took it out the bag and put it on my head i think the only thing they did tell the truth about is that it's just hitting 22 it's an exact 22 like, yeah but make sure you guys like comment and subscribe we haven't done a hair video in a minute like i said so that's really why i just wanted to come and do my hair with y'all and yeah i'll leave the link down below once i find it on amazon because i ordered these wigs a couple months ago like i haven't done my hair since i came back from houston so this is my first install that i've done on myself since i've been back so i'm like let's just get into groove of things like let's just get back to our roots the hair videos the smoke sessions like let's just get back into it but like i said make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next okay, video and be on the lookout for my lives now because I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to try to go live like once a day or like, you know, every other day in between me posting my videos so that I could keep up the the real interactions with you guys so that you guys could have that real FaceTime like conversation with me because I was just on live and I was smoking with some of my subscribers and I'm just like, damn, this is pretty cool. Like, I'm going to have to take that girl's idea and just really do a Zoom site call with you guys so that you guys could just smoke with me. I'm not going to lie. 
Like, I hate when I get into these moves where I don't want to be on camera and then when I, like, I do want to be on camera because it's like, when I'm back on camera, I just be thinking, like, why did I ever not want to be on camera? Like, what was I ever thinking about so bad in my head to where I was just letting that consume me, like. But I'm glad that I'm back. Make sure you like, I'm gonna subscribe, like I said, a million times already, and I'm out of here. Oh, now we gotta go? I'm the hype, nah, y'all ain't gotta hype me I'm that bitch, give a fuck who don't like me